Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. These brides have spent their whole lives dreaming of the perfect wedding day. Kate Midland eats your heart out. But these brides have absolutely no say in their big day. I don't no, like it at all. No, no. I hate it. It doesn't suit me. It's not me. Because they are leaving all of the arrangements in the hands of the groom. Just gotta kill But can they really trust their men with the biggest day of their lives? I want you to think, Meg. Might as well have a bit of a wind up as well. <laughs> Stop it. What have you been doing? For Mr. and Mrs. O'Key. It's the gamble of a lifetime. <laughs> but what if it doesn't pay off? Go ahead. I will. I will. No, I'll kill him. For Mickey and Neve, love is fun and life is a playground. But things are about to get serious. She dreams of a romantic fairy tale wedding with her as the belle of the ball. Oh. Wow. But Mickey and his best man fancy a wedding on a GAA pitch with farm animals. Where we're standing right here, you have your pigs and everything yeah, that you want to play. You get your animals. And with a hen day built around her fear of heights. I'm just ready to go home now. And the worst best man in history. I need the culture for this one anyway. <laughs> can this GAA mad cork man give his Tipperary bride the wedding of her life? I have no faith in him whatsoever. Since they met a couple of years ago, 27-year-old Michael, known as Mickey, and 24-year-old Neve just can't seem to get enough of each other. Went to this bar called The Ovens, and that's when I saw Neve at the bar. Good banter, she had her tip jersey on. Uh, of course, she was rubbing it in that... They tip one, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they did win that day. But, um, and then afterwards, then uh, I, uh, I got her back into the taxi. You did? <laughs> yeah. Back uh, to Mammy then. <laughs> <laughs> they put aside their cork tip differences and things moved pretty fast until Neve dropped the bombshell. She was moving to Australia. I said, oh no. So a week later, I told her that I'd go with her. We said, if we were going to go to Australia first, that we'd try living together because there's no point moving to the other side of the world and not knowing if you'd live with a person because it could be totally different. Yeah. And then after living together, then we decided that we'd love a family and not to go. They never made it to Australia, but a year later along came Dara. Another year followed and along came Molly. Now, while they saved to buy a house, they live together in a caravan behind Michael's mother's in Carrigtool, County Cork. They'd be missing a lot, you know. I might go in here to the mobile and I'd knock at the door and I might hear a toad. And next thing the door opens, Michael's on the ground. Mammy, she knocked me down the ground, missing. Fool acting. Oh, and this still goes on if after two children. Oh, I'd be just laughing. Like a typical cork man, Mickey's only other passion in life is the GAA. I'm sure, I live across the road from the Hurlingfield, so like from the minute I wake up, over in the field all day long. I'm, just, I'm delighted that the season is over now for the football because we've been off training and, and there was matches and. Was it last year he missed Easter dinner in my man's because he had a match with the football and championships always in Easter like she yeah. has to understand this. Championship. I'm training for four months not to miss a championship match like. Yeah. To go to some dinner like. Big family dinner like <laughs> somebody didn't turn out. A big family dinner like go to the week after the same people there for the dinner. <laughs> Once half seven kicks in at night time. Once the clean up was done, we're both on the couch and. Like, we'd never sit at opposite ends of the couch at all and lying down, cuddling into each other. Going for a shower, we'd never go for a shower. But I'd go over and give each other the person a kiss and tell them I love you, see you in a minute. And we could only be going for a shower. Just bounce off each other. So if you, if you could picture somebody walking down the street and the two and just kind of do this, like, and they're just like two little kids. They're really cute. They actually are very cute. She was always a go-getter, like, but if she wanted something, she got it. When she set her eyes on him. The biggest nice. problem we had is that he came from Cork. Other than that, he was all right. But when it comes to her wedding, this Tipperary woman is more than a match for her man. She knows exactly what she wants. She's been making a list for quite some time. A long list. If I just got an idea somewhere, I'd write it down if I was in work or something. I'd write it down and he'd say for and transfer it into my book when I came home. Mickey's wedding list is a lot. 
shorter. The venue, and then you get that, and you get wherever you're having a ceremony. The lanterns, I want lanterns, but I want not just a lantern with a light in it, I want big ones with flowers put all around the lights. And then after that, then things just kind of fall into place, basically, like, and you kind of pick what you want for their entertainment and stuff. And when we sign our register, I'd love an old school desk and sign the register on that and put fairy lights along the front of it and hanging off the back of it. I can't wait to do it. Also, like a tiny bit nervous, but at the same time, I think it will be a lot of fun and I think that it can't be as hard as people tell me. I'd be very disappointed, I really would. When the kids get old and they ask you about your wedding, you want to actually tell them that you enjoyed your day and it was a nice. So Neve knows exactly what it takes for her perfect wedding day. Unfortunately, she's not the one organising it. Today, she moves out for three weeks, leaving Mickey on his own to deliver her dream day. I've already spent maybe two days of my whole life without being with her, so it's kind of a bit, um, a bit emotional at the moment. Like, er, I'll muscle on through, I get the wedding done. Never spent any time apart, like we do. Every, like even going out, like if we went out, we'd go out together. We ring each other, we ring each other five or six times a day. Constant contact, like, I, I really find it tough. These are tissues when you get sad. <laughs> okay. And then, this is some chocolate to make you feel better. And then after that, then there's a picture of me you can put outside your bed. And you're a super sexy man playing football. And you can cuddle into every night. Do you okay? Ready to go? Let's go. Should we use some time and watch your word? I'll do a fantastic job. You better. Don't cut your hair too tight. I don't want to cut my hair too tight. I don't like it too tight. Okay. And polish your shoes. Okay. What's up, buddy? Daddy put in scan? Well, yeah, we're going to carry mommy. Niggas? Dada. Love you. Love you. See you soon. <laughs> Did I get my right here? Do you have a bite, Daddy? Daddy soon, okay? So with his soul buddy gone, what's a guy to do? Back to Mammy, of course. I'm back, baby! Ah, that would be Mickey's cousin Reggie, home from Australia on holiday and available to be best man, advisor, and guiding light through this difficult ordeal ahead. Reggie is my first cousin. I know him obviously all my life. He went to Australia as well three years ago, kind of when I just met Neve. He was gone a few weeks later. He's back now from Australia for a few weeks. Uh, he's a bit of a, a mad man, and I think that he'd be a good man to get me through this now, to be fair. I'm a terrible influence on Mickey. <laughs> a horrendous influence on Mickey. Reggie is mad. Reggie has a way of getting people to do what he wants. I'm worried that Mickey will listen to Reggie and Reggie will have too much of an input. If I had my way, it wouldn't be him. <laughs> Terrified of Reggie. Because when Mickey and Reggie go out, there's no home. He'll get back into the eye, Mickey. He might even get married after this three weeks. Reggie and Mickey are warming up for some serious fun. He already knows that Neve has her doubts about him as best man, something he seems to be enjoying a little too much. Well, Neve is the boss, yeah. He's under some big time. She's probably dreading going up the road now, knowing that I'm beside him organising her wedding. She's not going to like this fun bit. I'm thinking for venue, I'm thinking kind of like farmy kind of thing, like so, like some field or farm, some sort of a, a barn, some sort of animals has to be there. Yeah, but she's grew up around animals all her life. She doesn't want to see him the day of her wedding. She wants a break from them, like. No, honestly, animals would be cool at the wedding. I tell you, if you see it, like she wouldn't pick that, but I think she would actually quite like it too, because she's a farmer's girl as well. Don't forget. And I think that um, it'd be fun, and all the children love us also. Only married in a, maybe a church. Church? Yeah. Get yeah. married. Get married in Jayfield. <laughs> you're not. You're not feeling the love for Jayfield, yeah? I just put up as an option. So far, they've decided that Neve's perfect wedding needs a farm, animals, and a ceremony in a GAA field. She's not going to like me involved picking her wedding dress, or the bride's red dresses, or her transport to the wedding, or the venue. 
We're gonna whack this one up. Dress. So I can, I don't know, what's the max? Max would be a thousand. Max a thousand? Yeah, so we're going 250 to a thousand, Jesus. but hopefully we get the lower. The money's going fairly fast, isn't it? Uh, we could have this done by Friday. <laughs> and we what? two weeks of drinking. Let's just get to places. While the groom and best man look forward to two weeks of drinking, Neve, her sisters and best friend are taking her first look at the dream she hopes he'll deliver. Not a GAA field in sight. Just 320 acres of lush private parkland and the romantic surroundings of Kilshane House in the Tipperary countryside. Jeannie, you've really is secluded, like. Mm. There'll be no one else coming in here, like. Oh, wow, look at that. See the big that opening is gorgeous. So good. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Mickey and Reggie's inspiration comes from a very different view. The one from his caravan with the GAA field across the road. Right, Mickey. This is our fucking wind they were planning here, right now, kid. We're going to get this right. We've done everything in this hurling field together. Start to drinking here together when we're on the edge. Start to playing games here together. And start to doing things with women that we will not talk about, all right? This is our fucking day, all right? I know you can do it. I know I can do it, all right? Every few here now, okay? The GAA field doesn't really tick many boxes for Neve. She wants romance, privacy, and palatial splendor for her special day. Only people who come to this house would be you and your families and friends. Oh, That's lovely. it. So there, it's are no oh, there are no other guests. There are no other guests. That's really nice. Totally your own set. But for the lads, privacy is not exactly their priority. How is this going to work? Like, I don't get it's it. going to work. You have your marquee over here. And then for your guests, for the Tipperary people, to really make them feel welcome, we'll have the red carpet going into the front door of the marquee. Parking, toilets, the whole lot. Ah, oh, VIP wedding. You'll be the first man in carry tool ever to get married in the hurling pitch. And your guests will come in and have their drinks and have their cups of tea and sit in front of the fireplace. So this is the formal dining room. So this is for a dinner the night before. We can seat 24 people at this table. You can have your pet and zoo just here. Where we're standing right here, you can have your pigs and everything. I get my animals. There. You get your animals. I, I get even my animals. give you animals for the day. Like. Whatever you want, we can have it on the day here. Everything is here for you. Oh my god. <laughs> On fairy lights and it's everything I wanted and things on the ceiling and they're sparkly, the big candles, it's everything that I was looking for. Like he knows that I want the princess feel, so I'm very hopeful that he will find me something like this. The little details do matter. The pretty things <laughs> like the lighting, chair covers, <laughs> you know, you're not just sitting on horrible chairs. Like everything put together just makes it look so pretty. Worst things is if everybody was like superhero team. He loves Batman. Like, loves Batman. So I could just imagine like him making me walk down the island like a Catwoman suit or something. <laughs> or everyone else just dressed up as a superhero. A Batman wedding. Surely it doesn't get any worse than that, or does it? I can just imagine it in a field. Just a field. <laughs> I don't even know if we'd have a marquee if you even think of that and then it's going to rain and we're all going to get wet. When it gets dark at night, we'll just run the lights and we'll party this bright again. I mean, I can't picture it, but as well, at the same time, I'm not You've got sure. the bridal suite across the road. <laughs> Best bridal suite in East Cork. Do you really think it's going to work? This is going to work. Of course. Right, let's do it, all right? Let's do it. I think I'll be running down the aisle to see him, like, I, I can't wait. I can't count him down the days. I just hope I get a phone call tomorrow to say the wedding is the next day and that he's after doing it all. And, like, super fast time. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> Today is the day that Neve's waited for all her life. She's off to look at the kind of spectacular, show-stopping wedding dress that she's relying on Mickey to buy for her. Ash, two more. Hi. And my Hi. man, Mary. Welcome, Mary. <laughs> so, Neve, what's your vision for your wedding dress? I wanted to come out like a princess <laughs> and sparkly, but not too busy. Okay. And little straps on it and like a sweetheart neckline. Neve wants to be a princess, but does her prince have any idea what she's supposed to look like? Because he's about to buy the dress. How do? How are Welcome. You? I'm Mickey. Mickey. Reggie. I'm Carl. Nice to meet you. So, we're here to buy a wedding dress. I presume so. Oh, yes. 
Uh, do you have any idea what you're looking for? Not, not really, to be honest. Um, not really, do we? No, we haven't had a buzz option. No? No. OK, well, look, i tell you what, right? Go through that curtain and have a look around, and if you see anything you like, shout. Oh, my Holy God. Holy fuck. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. She's a little bit so last, huh? Ah, lad. <laughs> Nah, Mickey, we need fucking help with this thing, all right? There's no clue. The lads may be out of their depth, but Neve has never felt more at home. I can't wait to start looking. <laughs> <laughs> she seems very certain about what she wants. Oh, look. No, too roughly. Too busy. No, I wanted to come out. What about that if it was in white? If it was in white, like, that's lovely. So, yeah, I like the sleeves of that now. Like, I love it, but I wanted to come out more. Meanwhile, the boys are getting technical. Yeah, uh, kind of a princess and a puffy thing here, like that. And have you thought about necklines? You could go illusion, which would be a bit of coverage on top. Stop laughing at me, this is serious stuff. <laughs> I'd be a rock, all right? I look after you. And as her family know, Neve has very high standards. She is very, very fussy with her dress. Particular. Very, very yeah, particular. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? I think what she wants, I don't even think is designed yet. Knowing how fussy Neve is, I wouldn't do it. And the lads are finding that dress shopping isn't all bad. Mickey, it's the prize bed's going to try and try and dress and it's going to be... <laughs> so this is... Dropped Waist Asymmetrical Modified A-Line. How's that one for a tongue twister? Basically ticking all the boxes. So talk to me. Don't so what do you think? I don't know that I like that um, necky part. I, I assume that I get a wool factor and not get a wool factor with that, for me. So number two... Oh, gee, lad. Oh. <laughs> Bit sexier. Oh, I need the cushion for this one, anyway. <laughs> Don't like it. Really? Yeah, not at all. No? No. Well, it's doing something for me, anyway. <laughs> Reggie's very disappointed. He clearly likes this one. Meanwhile, for this princess, the fairy tale is coming true. It's gorgeous. It's like the dress I drew in my book. <laughs> it's lovely. I have my, my sweetheart neckline and the, the net, and it comes out really big. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> my sparkly long veil and my sparkly shoes. <laughs> so it's definitely the one. Oh God, Mickey's going to have a hard job. I wouldn't pick anything else. This is the one. Right, so guys, number three. This is kind of a bit cross between the two. The top of the good one, sexy one, and the bottom of the more romantic one. So it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. What do you think? I do. Mickey has done what most men find impossible and found the perfect dress. But is he about to do what lots of men do manage? Not quit while he's ahead. It's not enough that he wants her to get married on a GAA pitch. Now he wants to turn her dream wedding dress into something styled around a cork hurling kit. I like it. I love it. Yeah? Yeah. So this is the dress, Reggie. This is it. 100%. There's no turning back from this This is the one? That's the dress? That's the dress. That's the dress. Happy days. All right, we'll have to talk business in this one. Business. Business. What do you want? So far, this wedding has cost nothing. So hopefully, Mickey can afford to splash out. It'll be about 12 in total. 1200. 1200 just pushing too far. I've a taxi there, Mickey. We were just going all the way. It's too high. I'm sitting at 50. No, don't be silly. Come on. Meet me in the middle, guys. Say a grand. We'll call it quits. You said 950. All right. 950 was deal? Yeah. Well, deal. I was going to say 900. No, wait. It's too late. You had your chance. I told you to sit down. But just as things are starting to fall into place, Mickey has been called to an emergency meeting with best man Reggie. I have to break the news now to Mickey that I'm not going to be wrong for his wedding. I have to go back to work. Work at the end of the days, what puts the bread on the table, the drink in the belly. It's everything. Time for Mickey to get the devastating news that his best friend is no longer his best man. You're gonna need Whiskey. that. You're gonna need that now in a second. Let's go back to Oz. What do you mean you gotta go to Oz? Can't be wrong for your wedding. What, you won't be here for my wedding? No. I stop you're taking the piss on me. I'm not taking the piss. V's is everything to me, like. As much as I give my left leg for you right now, if I don't go back, I'm not gonna not gonna hold on to my visa. Jesus, Richie, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm sorry, like. There's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can do. I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Man, we we'll sink these and... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Mm. 
Unaware of Mickey's predicament, Neve has retreated to her home in Tipperary. She has plenty of company, but the truth is, she misses her Mickey. Very tough being away from him, yeah. I just can't wait for it to be over. Like, I'm loving the experience, but I just want, just want it to be over just so I can see him again. Been away, not being able to talk to Mickey. You know, they're doing lots of different things around the farm now, stuff like that, not being able to talk to him about it. Even the wedding aside, I think, three weeks away from, from him, just from that would be difficult. With his best man gone, Mickey now has little or no chance of delivering this wedding. The stress now is just building up. I have no one to talk to. I can't talk to Neve. And Reggie's gone. Just a bit lost now at the moment. Like, and then the list of stuff I have to do just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know. I'm treading it. I'm treading it. But help may be at hand. With two out of three weeks gone and nothing done except the dress, can Mickey's friend Owen step in as best man and save the day? What do we do? What do you want me to do? Where do we start? Well, show me what you've done and we'll, we'll take it from there then. Well, with the dress, the dress got, possible venue in the GA field across the road. Right. And that's, that's about as far as it goes. That's it? That's it. What have you been doing? I've been on the piss for the last week and a half, man. Oh, what can I do? I've got, I've got a list of strippers' names for the stag from Reggie. That's all I've got. Names and numbers of, uh, of strippers. That's no good to me, like. <laughs> we don't have time to do, to do a big job here, like. Right. And your t-shirts are inside, inside, open, inside, open, right? Sure, you don't know where they're coming or going on. You're, you're under pressure, like. With Owen bringing some well-needed common sense to Mickey's plan, the GAA field wedding ceremony is scrapped. Let's do his kit. Let's do it. But they need to act fast. With an animal lover as the bride and 38 nieces and nephews on the final guest list, it's back to the original plan. And Rumley's farm in County Cork may just fit the bill. This <laughs> <laughs> is very friendly. Come on. I can smell it. <laughs> the farm has a mix of domestic and exotic animals and indoor and outdoor activities for kids. And on the right hand side we have the uh, pygmy goat. People are going, they don't know what, what's coming like. And just to get a tour of a farm and a wedding day, I think would be brilliant. Like, I think she'll love it, I really do, yeah. I think she'll be blown away, she won't know what. Either. Meanwhile, back in Tipperary, the bride is checking out her guide to the perfect fairy tale wedding. In the book I have fairy lights, they're my main thing and I want fairy lights everywhere. Same, you know, like light up rose petal flowers. I've seen them, you put the little batteries into them and they operate. And a swing that would be big enough for the two of us to sit on, so we could get pictures of the two of us on it, and then have one where he can push me on the swing and on the ropes to have like flowers all wrapped around the ropes. And it. But again, they're all things that women think of that I don't think he'll think of. Getting married in a barn doesn't seem to be mentioned in her fairy tale. Have you held a wedding here before? No, so it'll be the first wedding now. So this will be, the, this will be the room this where... This will be the room. This is where, where we'd have a lot. Yes. And so you see there's a fixed play area there for the children, and there's also a younger one over on your far right-hand side here. We also have a fixed uh, area here where your bar could yeah, be. Bar OK. The table has to go here on the top. Yeah. The bride does love animals, but is she really dreaming of holding her wedding reception in a children's play area? She won't expect it to be in this venue. She won't expect it at all. She won't expect it. She'll be shocked. When she comes around the corner and sees the sign, Romney's open fire. It's hard to know how she'll react. She could yeah. be crosser than she'll be. Well, she loves animals. She, she loves, loves animals. She, she loves animals to look at them. She loves children, so like. But she doesn't like to get married with animals. And I don't think that was part of her plan, like, was it? At this late stage, Mickey can't afford any mistakes. But can he afford the wedding? Yeah, the venue itself, and that's probably, um, giving you access to the full 20-acre site. We'll give you a tractor tour and we'll give you a lot of other exciting things throughout the evening. Um, that's about two and a half plus the vet is what we'll be charging for that. Yeah, I think the venue we get caterers, I think the catering would make, make the wedding as well. Because like, yeah. the, the venue is fantastic. Like. Give us another few bob off and Mickey will clean <laughs> up one of the, yeah, one of the, the hoses for you. He'll muck it up. He'll muck it up. The, the, deal, the dearest money that's he'll ever have. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the hardest he's money he'll ever have. That's, that's a deal. So a deal, <laughs> deal, deal, deal sure. Mickey is taking a lot of risks with this wedding, but now it's time for the hen. To begin with, he has gone for some outdoor adventure. But before it begins, Mickey is indulging in one of his little fantasies, dressing Neve up as his favourite female superhero. Oh, no way. <laughs> I have to worry the yeah, yeah, I'm worried thinking like is it going to you know some sort of a, a hint as to what's to come. Perfect hint. I'd like to go off, have a laugh, 
go maybe do something outdoor, outdoor fun. Nothing with heights. Terrified of heights. Okay, because that looks quite high. I'm not jumping off, we're just the rope hanging on to back of me, no way. Just go up and see what it's like. Give it a shot anyway. All right. I think now, even now, is quite brave now to be doing this. She, she, she's made of strong stuff, but she'll kill Mickey. Maybe it'll seem less frightening after she sees her sister and do it. One. Better than that. that doesn't seem to have helped. Go on a hill walk, I fucking go through muck, I do anything, and that is. Coming to the edge! Coming to the edge. 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 Why don't you put your two hands up now for me, Neil? You promise you won't push I me? I promise I won't push you. I'm holding you back. All right? Put your hand up now, ready to catch the bear. You promise you're not lying? You're I not going to fall? I promise I'm not lying. I promise. Two hands up. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Well done. Yeah. And I'm going to couch down. Well done. Right, catch the bear. You're going to do it. In three, two... Three, two, one. Let it go here. Let it go here. That's it. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a terrified Batwoman bride to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just ready to go home now. Yeah. yeah. I was just crass that he made me do something that he knows I don't like. I'm over it. Until I see him and then I kill him. <laughs> she hates superheroes and heights. So far, Mickey has included both in her hen, and the night is still young. Yeah, no, no, that wasn't. She may not be impressed, but if she only knew, Back home, Mickey is organising a special Skype call, a surprise involving Neve's brother, Liam, in Australia. I'm basically trying to organise a big, huge, massive surprise for Neve for the wedding, like a wedding present for her. I'm trying to get through to her brother, who's in Australia, Liam. He'd be our godfather. He's been there three years now. I've never met the man. He's never met our kids. Flying over would be brilliant to be a massive surprise for her. Hello. Oh, there you are. You see me? I want to get a big surprise for Neve. I have a bit of money in the budget, and if you are able to, I want to get you flying back for the wedding. What do you think? Oh, Jesus. I say no matter. Well, I heard all good things about you, like, but I have to judge you myself when I see you, like, so, you know. Yeah, I didn't hear anything good about you. Unimpressed with the start of her hen, Neve is waiting for something more impressive for her last night as a single woman. All dressed up, a limo. It's looking good. But where Mickey's concerned, things are never quite that simple. Hi, Neve. Mickey has asked if you would um, wear these blindfolds, please. All blindfolds? The girls get into the car. Yeah. Oh, I Where are we? Did we go down the coast? Yeah, we're just going to lift. Watch the sort of one bottle of champagne. There's seven of us here, we need more. I'm all out. Where don't you want to go? Would you Howl Mucca. Howl Mucca. Nearby to where Neve grew up translates as a not so romantic pig's hole. It's the last place she wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'd kill him. We've done cards. For the stag, best man Owen has decided that Mickey is going undercover as a Tipperary fan. Could we tell you this is a joke? <laughs> what kind of shorts did you get? Big off me. With an extra pair of socks in case you need a bit of padding. Like. Oh, they're tight. <laughs> <laughs> I spent two hours doing my hair. At uh, the worst case scenario, they dressed me up in a temporary hurler's gear. My worst nightmare. Didn't think this would happen. In under 13 gear, I think, actually. And former best man Reggie has shown up in blow up form. We, we have the better man, right? <laughs> All the way from Australia. Here we go. The lads seem to have enough stag money to visit every pub in town.
So I'm going to enjoy the stag with the boys, and then tomorrow then we'll start planning the rest of the wedding. But tonight is going to be hell for leather. Probably now Neil's probably arriving to our destination after getting the limo and probably going, holy shit, you just sent me into the fucking father's local. She'll make the most of it. I hope so. The budget couldn't afford anything else, so I hope she um she get over it and have a good night, right? As the limo pulls up, Neve is hoping for a fancy restaurant, a sexy nightclub, or a private cocktail bar. How about her dad's local pub? <laughs> <laughs> I do no fear as a stripper anyway. <laughs> like he had the, the limo, which makes me actually worse about the wedding day. Because if he had brought me in a, a motorbike or something, now I'd be thinking, okay, maybe he might do better for the wedding day. Whereas now I've got him something nice for the hen and thinking the wedding day is gonna fuck. <laughs> yeah. It could be a very long night. Okay, Mickey left this for you. Okay. Oh! Oh yeah, I hope you're loving your night, Neve. Drink that, Mickey. Drink that. Thank you for the drinks. I hope you have a great evening. Sorry about the small men, but those the dresses were expensive things. I don't spend a whole lot of money in our dresses, Neve. Our dresses have got twenty euro. Get a lot of shirts, but that's what we have. We're going to stretch to fifty. Well, I heard you think we do champagne. <laughs> yes, do, you, do you have any champagne for 20 euro? <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. The large box is setting up. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> Neve's wedding is just days away, and after a disastrous hen, right now she's not looking forward to it. Oh, I have no faith in him whatsoever. Even I was saying to my sister yesterday, we went shopping, and I was like, saying all the different things that I wanted for the wedding. And she was like, how do you know he won't have them? I was like, he won't, and she was trying to tell me have faith in him, and I was like, well, the way things are going so far now, it's not giving me much to go on. All she can do is hope that things can only get better. Just as the night went on, I just got a bit upset, thinking, you know, this was my hen, you want to get one hen party, and this was it for me. Mickey predicted that organising the perfect wedding for Neve would be a walk in the park, but he is now discovering he may have seriously underestimated the task at hand, and now he's counting the cost. Way more stress than I thought. They all add, you see, they all add, and they might be like two or three hundred euro, and you add them all up then, and you're sort of like three things, and it's a grand. If I'm away a bit here and there, even ten euros on the stage, I'm fighting people over, like, you know, because it's, it's gone that bad. Like, I mean, they'll say to me, ten euro or five euro, and I'd be like, look, that's five euro more than I have for something else. Keen to tick another important task off the list, Mickey has arranged for Neve to be summoned to Semple Stadium in Thurlis. And like many a Cork team, she has no idea what she's letting herself in for. To the lads, it's the field of dreams. But Neve and her sister Anne are confused. Why are you in here, do you think? I don't know. I was just told to come here at five o'clock. Hopefully now he's uh, making amends now and doing something better here. Neve, why? Welcome, welcome to Sandal Stadium, Purvis, the field of legends. At the request of your fiancé, please welcome onto the field a Cork GA legend. Hi. Neve, how are you? Good, how are you? In case you're wondering who it is, Sean Oga Halpin is one there. Hi, how are you? How you keeping? Good, good. In case you're wondering yeah. what I'm doing in the middle of the field of dreams here, <laughs> Simple Stadium yeah, and Turles. Yeah. What's the score with you and Mickey anyway? Uh, I don't know what the stage is. You don't know? <laughs> no, I know. Well, I tell you what the score <laughs> is. Look down there. That's the score. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Best of luck and enjoy. Thank you. Thought it would never come as a day, like. So I'm delighted now, it's finally, it's finally got a day. Hey, up the rebels, yeah? Up the rebels. Tell him, tip, tip, tip. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't be saying tip. Once again, Sean Ogo Halpine may have scored a few points away from home against difficult opposition. He is able to think of this, maybe I'm underestimating him and he might be able to think of something great for the day. Like hopefully he will, will do good and will get me everything I want. Next, the bridal carriage. Neve had a stretch limo for the hen. This time Mickey's got a different type of luxury transport in mind. It could be comfortable, it should be warm and dry, like, for the rains, like, for the last rains, it should be grand. That's true. You should get enough to the church dry, like. And what more could a bride wish for than a warm and dry tractor? We have a, okay. an unusual request, I suppose, to say the least. 
Anthony, the owner, might be in for a surprise when he hears the budget for this one. If this is a hundred grand bit of kit, like what, what, what is the budget? No, our budget is, it's shot, shot. It's shot. We're, shot. we're goose, like we're, we're way behind. Now, Glad, seeing as how it's someone local and we'd like to help out, I'll give you the tractor for the job. Free. For, for, for free? free. I will do it for free. That's yeah. brilliant. Okay? Excellent, that's good. No problem. It's that's nice, fantastic. it is nice, yeah. She might want to yeah. keep it though, yeah. Just suiting, yeah. yeah. You might, you might, you might turn a corner. Well, we can organise that too. <laughs> yeah. One thing Mickey did spend money on was the dress. And with the wedding 24 hours away, the bride is about to find out whether the money was well spent. No, it's just been long three weeks. I kind of fed off of it all and just can't wait for it to be over. Not that I don't want to get married and just not tomorrow. I want princess and I'm expecting plain. Maybe he'll surprise me. You too. You all right? Yeah. Feeling nervous? Yeah, yeah. I have your dresser. I'm going to give this you... This is a definitely not an ordinary day at the office for Carl. Don't panic. <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit of the bottom of the dress. But will the bride see red? She's quite emotional. So I think, yeah, it's been a tough few weeks. I think it's taken its toll. You might actually be pleasantly surprised. Thanks. So. You never know. She's just doubting everything now. She's doubting, can you put it off? What's he going to do? So many things that can go wrong. The dress not good. It's mm. kind of a precursor to what could be out. Gotcha. It's just a little bit long at the minute. OK, I'm nervous myself. And the verdict is... I actually really like it. <laughs> no, there's the dress was gorgeous. He did well, I think. Did you think? Success, the truth Steve. Is, no, honest to God. Steve, I'm well. holding myself back from crying. You had to get the red sash. I didn't need to keep it up here in a court jersey. <laughs> Ta-da! You look beautiful. Maybe look like a princess. Maybe we'd be going to a castle now. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. She might be. Yeah. yeah. So he's done a really good job. He has surprised her. I'm She's well done impressed her. with him. And while the bride enjoys her princess moment, she's no idea that Mickey is collecting her brother who has flown in all the way from Australia. This is our new home now for the next few days, buddy. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Where are you sleeping? Uh, with you. <laughs> We're sharing a bed. All I can do now is hide Liam until the wedding. Back at the fitting, Mickey seems to have covered everything, from head to... Any shoes? Not that I know of. He didn't ask for shoes. If looks could kill. Carl has to break the bad news. OK, I'm sorry, there were no shoes. You were all happy with a minute ago now, cos you haven't got to see the shoes, you're all nighting them again. Yeah. Cos I don't have a full outfit. You just eat know what's but going on. There. You know you've got to feel, you've got a dress yeah, that you want to. It's usual. Just yeah. get your hair and makeup. Yeah. He's got your shoes, just haven't seen them, and you're still not happy with him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he has or not. He no, does have Even it. if he gets other little things wrong tomorrow, the dress will still tip him over the edge. He'll still do well, do you know? But you got the dress right. And there's other things that can still go wrong tomorrow, I'm sure, but... Fair as long as Fairlights fair fair and, her, and her family and friends, I don't think it'll bother her where it is. Good news. The bride might be barefoot, but she will have fairy lights. And Mickey is finding that converting a children's play area into the wedding of the year isn't child's play. You might look great of yourself and Neve or both a kiss and there's a pig's arse in the way, like, good look. I didn't think the black would look, I yeah, thought it might look too tall, like, the white on it then, so... The white makes it, yeah. I'm really the happy with that. and all that. Six o'clock, a lot, lot of work to do yet and we're just, we're just trying to plough through it. It's a working farm, so, you know, we couldn't come in yesterday and, and, and set up our last week, so it's, it's all last minute stuff. We're going to be sweating and we could be working late into the night tonight. Glad it asked because it was very stressful, it was very tough. We just should have put everything together in the time. And that'll be it then, what's done is done. I'm sure she'll love it though, she will. As the storm clouds settle, there's no going back. The wedding is tomorrow. Neve's wedding day has finally arrived and she is setting high standards from the get-go. Um, no, I want you to kind of be able to see it from the front. I don't want it to look like my hair is off. Okay. I told her she said, I'm not fussy. And I said, I'm not. Yeah. No, not fussy at all. Now, finally, some good news. The shoes have arrived. Jeez, I'm not thankful for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Eve dreamed of many things for her wedding day. None of those dreams had her getting married in wellies. Uh, not great, but she mightn't see them because the dress comes down so. Give me any hints, Neve. 
Don't be ridiculous. It's not a field, it's a farm. In a local Tipperary hotel, Mickey is sending two superheroes, including Neve's heavily disguised brother Liam, on a very important mission, delivering the wedding dress. And a superhero goodie box full of love and memories, but still no shoes. Something borrowed from the lovely hotel. Something blue, my lovely week. Something old, I gig went there myself and Eve down in the Clarny for Kenny Rogers. A choice, it's, like it's, it's, it's not exactly wrapped, but you know what? Well, what'll it do? With no Batmobile, these guys need to hurry. But will Neve and the family recognise the mysterious caped crusader who's flown in all the way from Oz? <laughs> we have something for you, Neve. Please. Something borrowed, something blue, something old, and something new. Thank you. We have one more surprise, your wedding dress. Look at the wrinkles. <laughs> It'll be fine. Any guesses? Now, after three years, Time for a family reunion. Come on, Batman. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Come on, Meanwhile, the bridesmaids seem to have one accessory too many, the security tag from the shop. She can't wear it like that. You can see it when I try it on. It's, it's, it's rattling, plus it's sticking out or it's bulking. We're not ready, Neve. We can't have Neve. So it's going to delay everything. I should be back in half an hour, so. Of course. No, I never thought of blue. They're beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, I love the bow on them. I love the colour of them. It's so sparkly. Just then no jewellery needed or anything. Yeah. Because you couldn't, you didn't need it's to wear it. It's only saved on the budget there. Saved on the budget, you yeah, see? Yeah, you did well. The lads are suited and booted and ready to go. There's even time to toast themselves on a job well done. Cheers. Tip, tip. But the bride is not amused at the thought of having to actually walk down the island wellies. I see you could have found this. So we can't see the boots. We really can't. You walk in a bitch, can't see them. Time is running out, and she has no choice but to face her family. Here comes the beautiful, blushing bride. It's a big hit with the kids. But Neve doesn't seem so sure. Most girls like to coordinate shoes and handbags. Mickey's gone one better, perfectly coordinating the wedding wellies with her wedding transport. <laughs> At least someone sees a funny side. <laughs> to Mickey, it's a high-end, luxury, executive class, agricultural coupe. To this bride, it's just a windy old tractor. Come I just did so. tell him about the champagne that I wanted on the wing. I obviously I don't see that oh, anyway, right, okay. so... I'm sorry, don't surprise yeah. him, yeah. No, there's nothing more I can do. And, uh, we've done a fantastic job. I mean, the reception after was beautiful. Church looks massive. And the package has landed, like so. I'm just looking forward now to, to seeing you. I can't wait. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go arse first. One. Right, now I'm just going to jump. No, no, you're not. Yeah, why? <laughs> it's supposed to be the happiest day of her life, but the wellies are spoiling Neve's dream. Just smile, will you? You want to pee in here? Inside the church, Mickey is getting nervous. The bride should be here by now. Neve is refusing to walk up the aisle. Well, otherwise, I'm standing at the end of the aisle. That won't it. For, for me. For me. Good knees. 
Are they my shoes? At the last moment, a little Prince Charming comes to the rescue. Good boy. What about Willie's helmet? No, sorry. Now that the wellies have gone, here comes the bride. Where the string is a sign of our faithful love. Michael, where the string is a sign of our faithful love. And then follow. And the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> now you are man and wife, and I invite you to kiss the bride. <laughs> I know the happiest man in the world. She, she turned up and then she married. Me. I did, she barely. Like a hip and a welly in a while. <laughs> As the newlyweds head to the mystery reception, Neve's big day is starting to sparkle. If only she had something sparkling to toast it with. Everybody gets champagne on their wedding. It's in two I got chat. none on the way and none going here now. I got four or three anyway. <laughs> Suddenly the farm comes into view and the penny begins to drop. Neve is one nervous newlywed. Well, looking at it, I don't know what he could have possibly pulled off. There would be, you know, anything good here, but I thought it would be. What she wants, she loves. <laughs> Very confident. So has Mickey pulled off a magical transformation and turned the play barn into the romantic setting that Neve has always dreamed of. Oh. Stink. Oh. So over here, this is the kids' area. Do you like the jungle gym? <laughs> Didn't think he'd be able to pull off something like this. I was just expecting like a, a shed or something. <laughs> but it's actually really nice to come in here. She even gets a tour to meet her special guests. Let's go for the spin on the tractor. Are you happy to show the video? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, he does, he does. Give me that for him. Oh, Jesus, I don't know how to do that one. I'm just telling him about that. Who gets to say they're telling him about I know. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, it makes you think that you're never too old. As well, it brought us kind of back to childhood, looking at all the little animals in their cages. And do you know the little things? The pigs are running wild and rabbits are jumping in front of you. And, do you know, it was just absolutely beautiful. It was a brilliant location. Really, I'd highly recommend something like this. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Pretty impressive, actually, yeah. Compared to what we expected. I doubted whether or not he'd have been able to pull it off at the last minute. And he did, he proved me wrong. He absolutely pulled it off and exceeded what I thought he would do. When he got my brother to come home, he uh, kind of made up for everything. He couldn't have done any better. We weren't expecting it. He's the favourite son in law now, anyway, Lanny said. <laughs> <laughs> I had the ring on my finger all the time. Now he has one, so uh, everybody knows now he's taken two. <laughs> he can go out as much as he wants now. 